Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I am going to continue series of uh, the basic beginners learners guide, and in this video, I am going to show you uh, for loops. So I have opened my notes file here uh, so that I can reference some stuff. And yeah, to get started, you can just open a new file and then add uh, the shebang, which is this one, and then you can start. So yeah, the, for the, for the syntax of for loop. As you can see in my notes, uh, for and then the variable. What the variable means is um, it's an iterator. I, uh, think it of an like an iterator. Um, let's say um, uh, okay. Let's say you have, um, for example, uh, let's say six cities, and there is a traveler. I. He is a traveler. Okay. What the traveler does is, it first goes to the A, then B, then C, then D, then E, and F, and then let's say um. Okay. After this, he he completed his he completed his journey and rests. So think the think an iterator as I. And uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five uh, till n numbers as the cities, and the, and I what I does is it travels through or uh, it traverses or iterates uh, through all the numbers, and then does something until it completes all the numbers and then rests. Think it as resting. Okay, so let's see. Another thing is you can do something like uh, for every variable in one file, or for output in a Linux command. Okay, let's see some examples. So I have already added the shebang here, so it's like for and then the name of the variable as we saw here. Let's say i, and then in one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then do okay and then so let's say hello the dollar i if you remember this this is how we reference a variable okay so now after that done do and done between these we'll have the code which we'll be executing uh, until the uh, until the iterator completes the whole uh, whole data so yeah let's save this and then uh, give the permissions and then uh, and as you can see hello one hello two hello three hello four hello five it after uh, the iterator runs seven till five it's done so now let's now i'll explain this code a little bit more so for i n if you if you look at uh, if we reference our examples from the uh, from from before for the traveler in every city until the traveler uh, you know travels all the cities and then rests do this code so for the first time so echo hello dollar i what the, what dollar i means is the value of do, the value of i sorry so for the first iteration i will be in first one and then after uh, this code has been executed it will go to two and then three and then four and then five and so on so this is how uh, loops works it increments uh, like it, it increments on a certain number uh, I'll, I'll show you how to change that in a second. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, code for a basic for loop. Dollar i is uh, like the iterator. I stands for iterator. So, if you uh, think as iterator as a traveler, dollar i as the, uh, uh, stands which uh, in which city is the traveler staying right now. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's see another example. 
let's say i want to um, iterate from 1 to 100 so i can't do uh, you know i can just if if i do something like this it will take me too much time so there's a short way of uh, generating a sequence with a start and an end point so it's like uh, uh, curly brackets and then the start point which is 1 and then dot dot and then 100 okay so this can be uh, used in normal instances of the shell also so this is just a little bit deviating from the topic but I'll show you this also so if I uh, go to uh, let's see uh, let's say I create uh, a directory let's say test1 and I go in here okay there is nothing in here as you can see okay now if I want to uh, create a hundred files with the name let's say 1.txt, 2.txt, 3.txt etc. What I can do is I can use the touch command. Touch is basically a, a, a command which creates files. Okay. Touch and then the name. Uh, so basic syntax is touch and then name of file dot txt. Name of file. Now if I hit enter there should be a, a, a file which has the name name of file and as you can see there is a file here I can also open this in my file manager just wait a second because uh, I don't use the file manager that much uh, so yeah let it let that pop up so yeah what I was telling is I can use the touch command do I have okay so I just wait so I can use the touch command uh, to create a lot of files at the same time instead of uh, touch1.txt, touch2.txt you know uh, continuously doing the same thing or instead of writing a script what I can do is just write a one liner using that syntax this syntax right here ok so uh, I think my uh, ok leave it you know you just have to believe me in this one you can also open this in a file manager and this will work ok so what I was telling is, I will just remove the file, what I was telling is, let's say you have a situation where you want to, um, where you want to, uh, let's say, create 100 files with the uh, name of the index and then .txt or .py, let's say Python files. So what I can do is, I can say touch and then uh, 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 opening and closing curly brackets and then one dot dot and then the endpoint which is 100 and then the extension let's say python files or let's say c++ files hit enter as you can see if i do ls here there it has created uh, files from 1.cpp all the way to 100.cpp now if i remove all all of this i got this can this can go to any numbers let's say 10000 Uh, and as you can see there are 10,000 files uh, I can prove that uh, because uh, if I see the line count of this uh, of the ls output as you can see it has 1003 uh, the three are the parent directories and the current directory okay uh, yeah so as you can see that's very useful so I'll just uh, remove this directory Okay, um, yeah, so I'll go back on my script and see for I in 1 to 100 do the following again just hello dollar i. Now if I run this as you can see it has it has started uh, from hello 1 and then ended all the way to hello 100. Uh, as you can see this is pretty useful. Um, yeah. So another thing we can do is, uh, as I I I will uh, show you how to, um, you know, change the increment uh, incremental. So by default it just increments by one. Let's say I want to increment it by two. What I can do is another syntax. Uh, let's say uh, before this I'll show the same example again. Let's say I uh, create a directory called test. Okay, 
Now I want to create files uh, which uh, starts from one, and then uh, I don't know the, if this works. We'll uh, we'll see on our own. We'll see on our own. But this works in for loops. So let's see. So I want to start with one one dot py or cpp, and then I want to increment by two. So one dot cpp and then three dot cpp and then uh, five dot cpp etc. So what I can do is let's say I want to uh, the same thing again this and then one dot dot hundred and then after dot dot we can give the increment let's say two let's see what will happen and as you can see uh, one and then uh, three five etc. So this works great I'll remove all of this. Let's say I give an ex extension to this. Let's say CPP. And as you can see, uh, one dot CPP, then two dot CPP, etc. Let's, uh, let's say crap works here. As you can see, uh, two is not there. Two is not there. Uh, so two is not there. It returns nothing. Same thing, uh, 3 should be there, 3 is there, then 5 should be there, 5 is there. So it basically increments by 2 and then creates the 5. So I remove this, again same thing you can do uh, how many files ever you want, so 1000, so this should create about 5000 files, so let's see. And it's dash L A W C dash L. Five thousand and three files. Great. Nice. So I'll uh, just uh, remove the S folder again. And now test dot search. So same thing. We can do something like one hundred and then dot dot two. That's a thousand. Ten thousand. So now let's say uh, run this again. As you can see, it is doing this in an, uh, for demonstration purposes. Let's change this to 100 and run this again. And as you can see, it's starting from 1, then 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, etc. That's great. See, what else is there? Yeah, other thing is infinite loops. I'll not go through everything because I'll I think of planning to make the for loops, uh, you know I'll break the whole for loop section parts by parts because it's pretty, uh, you know, lengthy and very uh, what's it, useful thing to learn. So again, let's say I want to create an infinite loop. So for uh, this is the syntax for that. Echo, let's say uh, infinite loops. Done. Okay. Now let's run this. Uh, I'll remove the. I'll comment this one. Now let's run this. As you can see, it's continue running. Now I have to stop this by pressing Control C. You may not think that this is running, but it actually is. Uh, to prove that, I'll output the uh, result of this, uh, the output of this shell script into another file, let's say test1. Okay. As you can see, it is continue running. It is not. It is not stopping at all. So what I'll do is I'll control C, and now if you see the contents of test1. As you can see, it is filled with infinite loops. The uh, thing which it uh, see, as you can see, it's uh, about five hundred sixty-two thousand lines in such a short period of time because it is running infinitely. Okay. Um, yeah, another thing is conditional with break. So I'll not show this, but it's like I'll show this in the next uh, because 
there's a lot of things related to this in the next episode uh, not in the next episode next tutorial so it's like um, if a condition meets just break the loop by by break i mean let's say if we take the travelers example again um, let's say i and let's say there are uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so let's say uh, i don't want the traveler to visit city 7 so it will go to 1 uh, no problem at all 2 3 4 5 6 now what i can do is i can write a condition or an if statement if you remember if dollar i is equal to 6 then break break this is the keyword break means just stop the loop and get out of it okay i'll talk more about this in the next episode i just wanted to you know briefly touch over it um uh yeah i think so uh, that's it for today's video we have learned a lot of things today ex uh, which uh, most of them was a lot of trick tips and tricks of using bash so yeah that's it for today's video and i'll Catch you in the next one. In the next video also, I'll uh, again go through for loops, uh, a lot of other things with for loops. So yeah, uh, stay tuned to find it out and subscribe to the channel and you already know the drill. Like, share and subscribe. Bye.